everybody welcome back I finally made it to the craft room today it is a little toasty warm it is about 8 30 in the evening and the current temperature actual temperature is 86 feels like 93 it's a little toasty still a little too toasty to run yarn through my fingers to crochet I really want to but it's not even feasible because it would not be very fun at all I'm going to turn this off I was listening to the scanner but anyway, I thought I would hop in here and share with you the flower pots that I found at my local Dollar Tree for the uh, trio, or the crochet hanging plant trio that I shared with you guys in yesterday's video. If you're not familiar with that, that's what they look like. Everything, the link and everything describing it is in late yesterday's video, so go check that out. My local Yarny friend and I are working on this, and we invited you guys to join us and make the project as well it's super simple trust me if you can do a single crochet and a chain you got it made so far there is a more to it but that's as far as i've gotten but it's it's a simple pattern it is marked as easy skill level easy skill level easy so if i can do it you can do it because <laughs> i don't like anything complicated but anyway i went and found these little terracotta pots these are actually real terracotta and there's three of them for $1.25 which I thought was perfect because I need three pots and these came in a three pack I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to find any because it's getting closer to the end of the you know summer growing season at least for buying things so I was super excited that I was able to find them. I don't think they had anything bigger. I think this is the only ones that they actually had. But they are starting to put out Halloween stuff. And of course school stuff. Because school starts in about a month. I think. Maybe a little less. But yeah. And the yarn that I'm using. This is supposed to use the Bernat Home Decor. The Bernat Maker Home Decor yarn I guess. And I don't have any of that. So I'm using what I have. I grabbed this crochet, it's not crochet, this cotton yarn. This is a uh, sugar and cream. The color of it is Cottage Twist. I think it looks pretty cute. And I started making it. I'm using an H hook in that yarn instead of, and the, I'm, my tongue's tangled up. I'm using an H hook with this yarn instead of the J hook and the bigger weight yarn for this. And I need to do a few more rows because I don't think it's going to be enough. But this fits actually quite nice. It fits in there nice and smooth. I'm going to at least do it where it's, you know, probably up on this a little bit so that it doesn't fall out because I don't want it to fall out when it's just, you know, hanging. I want to assure that it's not going to fall out and break. So I am going to do a few more rows for sure. For that matter, let's just take one out and see what it looks like. Then we will both know. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These are so cute. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get a crochet hook. A normal crochet hook. I got one over here somewhere. That's not a normal crochet hook. Alright, this is a vintage crochet hook, but it'll give you an idea. So yeah, not very tall at all. In fact... These measure two and a half inches across, two and a half inches across, and I'm going to measure right up here under the rim, maybe, they're about, it's about seven inches around, seven, <laughs> but anyway, that's how it fits in there so far. Like I said, it is a little loose, but I think it'll be just fine once I go up a few more rows so that it's, you know, up above the tipping line. Because they're going to be hanging kind of like that, and I don't want to risk them falling out of the holder. So I'm super excited to work on that some more. I wish it wasn't quite as warm as what it is, but it is, and it's going to be this way for the rest of the week. So I probably won't do any crochet. I might work on the Lumnet scarf that I shared with you guys a couple days ago. Maybe not even that. I don't know. I'm doing my best just to sit and stay cool at this point. 
Because it is warm. I got my fan like literally right here in my face. <laughs> if you can't tell. Pardon me. If you can't tell because my hair is blowing. But that's what you got to do to stay cool. And yeah, especially in the summertime. The wintertime is not that big of a deal because, you know, you don't mind the, the warmth of the yarn. But summertime, you just don't want it. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I want to thank you for joining me here in the craft room. Make sure you check out yesterday's video and get that pattern. And if you decide to make one, there's information down in yesterday's video's description box of what you can do if you'd like to share that with us. So I will see you guys in my next video.